Well, since my youth, I've been diagnosed with ADHD, uh, ADD. These are kind of attention deficit disorders. And the best way to explain how my mind was, was that it was just messy. A bunch of different thoughts, all simultaneously, just a hectic place to be. And since my deliverance, my mind has been calm, like still water, and just the thoughts, I feel like I can actually take them captive now. I feel like I can actually make them subject to the will of the yacht. But before, I just felt like Ooh, I'm just getting pulled to and fro by these thoughts. I have no control over them, and they're just overwhelming. So I woke up this morning, and it dawned on me there ain't nothing on my mind right now. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 felt that way in ages. The last time I felt that way, I was on Adderall. I was on Ritalin. I was on the medication prescribed to me. Mm. But then I felt nothing. Wow. Just a zombie. No, there weren't any thoughts, but there were no emotions. And I just, that wasn't where I wanted to be. I get all these testimonies a straight way, how ain't nobody on medication. And then there's me. Right? And I'm like, this can't be. So I stopped taking the medication and I go back to struggling with my thoughts. But last Shabbat, I said, nah, we gonna focus on this. All that other stuff can wait because if I can get my mind clear, if I can get my mind clear, then the rest of it can come. The rest of it can come. Mm -hmm. And I feel like right now I'm ready and I'm equipped and I'm, I'm able to move forward in the other things that I need to be delivered for and the other things that are troubling me because this portion has been resolved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the most high. Praise the most high. What was your previous thoughts on delivery? <clears throat> I mean, I believed it worked. I just didn't believe it should work for me. See? And I said as much. Mm -hmm. Well. And, you know, I remember, and that's where, you know, us as saints, us as believers, those who have experienced the Most High Yah, those who have had an opportunity to see Yah work in our lives. See, this is what we know. We know that we know the power of the Most High. We know that we have experienced the power of deliverance sure. ourselves. And so when people come and, and they have some form of doubt or some form of uh, unbelief, it's our opportunity and it's our job to labor in such a manner that then that unbelief gets taken away if the truth is not rejected, right. okay? If the truth is not rejected and so what has taken place is, you know, we, we talking about a series of just bombardments. You know what I mean? That's what the enemy do. The enemy bombard the thoughts and the minds of his people because it's one of the things we were talking about. I had a chance to get some delivery. I mean, I feel really good today, man. I, I just had a other just pouring. I came out the room this morning and just, you know, poured out and, and just, you know, empty because I'm, 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 you know, I've always wanted to be in a state where I can allow the presence of the Most High Yah to take authority and have eminent dominance and, and, and the place of lordship in within me so that I don't do my own will throughout the day. Seeing the bombardment come to load you up with so many different thoughts and ideas and, and, and your, your mind is overthrown, all right? And not only is your mind overthrown, but you got to think about this. You find yourself exalt, uh, you know, exalting the knowledge that's in your mind above the knowledge of Yah. You're like, well, how am I doing it? Well, you do it because it caused you to go to a state of unbelief. If Yah say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Right. If Yah is going to position you as a 
child of the king where you have authority yeah. if you're under kingship and the authority and the powers and the and the the, the uh ownership and the rulership of our master our king yashua is going to rule in the earth then you're going to rule in the earth and you're going to be of a royal sort and people go you're going to you will see people are going to recognize that we're going to be royalty in the kingdom people are being robbed of that thought people because we can't even make it to a mind, a place of peace, let alone to make it to a place where, you know, the most high Yah has fashioned the mind to be the sacred governor over inklings and emotions. And because of that, you know, people are, you know, people minds is what the enemy is trying to attack. You think about it. All your wrongdoing, all your evil, all your shortcoming have first developed in your mind, in your thoughts. And when you hear someone say that their mind is at peace, I mean, you you got clarity this morning? I've got clarity since Saturday night, sir. You see what I mean? And I, you know, I could tell. I could see my brother walking in the newness. That's what this is about. This is about walking in newness. This is about walking in newness in the most high. It's about walking in the newness. So you can't walk in newness. You can't, ain't nothing you can tell me. You ain't never experienced newness. I know what the, the weighing down and the bearing down of wickedness and the bearing down of your sins that you walked in. I know what that feel like. I know it ain't no freedom and it ain't nothing but death. And sometimes that weighing down can lead you to the point of no longer desiring to live. I know what I'm talking about. See, y'all are saving people in this hour from there. Even though the enemy is presenting opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to walk in darkness where we know there is no light. The excitement today is that another brother got pulled out. Another brother got pulled into the way of life. Another brother got some joy instilled in him. Because see, if you ain't got no joy, you don't know what it is. You don't have what you need to have in you to wake up sustain. When you got joy, you wake up with a purpose. You wake up with, with a knowing. Instead of waking up with a feeling of, of being lost and without direction. Without being covered. See, I know, I know I'm covered. See, I have a, a certain peace in knowing that I'm covered by the king. Yes. Sure. Hallelujah. See, some of us don't know. We, we, we don't have this. Like, well, what is he talking about? It's unexplained. We just got to come and get in. You got to get immersed in the word. A, a burning has to take place down in you. And see, and I can tell you, one of the first times I ever felt a burning deep down in me was the Sabbath before when I had. See, we had been working up to this deliverance that we did this past Sabbath for about three weeks. I've been talking to the saints because I want you to understand. So we're not we're not just about to do a deliver session and you calling out spirit and you're in here faking it. everybody acting like we throwing up and, and spitting up and no 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 listen the world is getting darker and dimmer yes. evil is increasing the cup of sin is becoming extremely full do you see the sin in the earth do you see what people are doing you see what people are calling righteousness? Do you see it? If you see it, then guess what? My heart aches when a brother can't get free. So when I was laying hands on him, I was praying with the passion of the Messiah who died. And I was praying this morning. You didn't have to pour your blood out for a wicked vessel like I was. You didn't have to pour your blood out for me. But somewhere you had a compassion for people if they would just experience the most high, we would just be able to touch. Just like I mean, just like some of the people touching the hem of his going and getting, we could just touch righteousness and truly feel it and experience it. Then uh, 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 the, the evil would be loose from these people. And then guess what? Their eyes would yet again now be open to the goodness yes. of the most high Yah. Man, I was praying for Brother Perry two, two Sabbaths ago. Man, I have never felt, listen to what I'm telling you. I have never felt a burning deep down in my gut like I had. I, I felt, I feel burning. When I be laying hands on people, you see, it's like when Brother Adam got, 
got up I, that night. I felt burning, but I didn't feel what I felt. This, week. but as I'm like, look at the Most High. When you have a passion and you love the brethren, you want to see people get set free. Then guess what? The Most High kicked me. I had to stop praying and look around. I felt like somebody was praying for me. Like, like I was getting touched. Like I was. I had to look around. Like, man, what? What was that? I couldn't even believe. I, my inner gut was burning, like burning on hot fire, like never. It was unbelievable. And see, then I'm looking at the result the week, the week after. Then I'm listening. I know the prayers is going through. I know I'm praying. I was praying for my brother because I'm like, there's no way you're going to survive in this. You can't survive in this because the, the, the way is straight and the path is narrow. The path is narrow. So I just want to come on and encourage you all to listen. Listen, listen, listen. Be delivered of the one bringing deliverance to a people who have been cursed. You have been cursed down through the generations. You have been left without the word of truth and you follow falsehoods and fallacies and paganisms and you have followed so many things other than the word of truth. And even when the word of truth came, you could not hardly receive it because the place in you was not yet swept clean so the Holy Spirit could have its way in causing you to become, watch this, the righteousness of the Most High. That's what Christ came to do to make you the righteousness of the Most High.